Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the Editor-in-Chief at the Serverside.com, and I want to quickly show you the difference between a forward proxy and a reverse proxy. Now, the quick answer to that question is that a forward proxy allows computers located on a private network to access the internet. Whereas with a reverse proxy, computers on the internet go through the reverse proxy to access resources located on a private network. Now, let's talk about the use case for a forward proxy. Imagine you work at a bank or a government office. You go into work, you connect your laptop to the local network. That's a private network and the bank or insurance company or government, they wanna control any information that goes from that private network to the public internet. The way they do that is they configure a forward proxy and anybody on that private network that wants to access the internet or some other network has to go through that forward proxy first. That forward proxy can control the types of traffic that leaves the private network, the size of attachments, the ports that are used. It can really help to secure data on that private network and mitigate and control access those computers on that private network have to the public internet. Now let's talk about the use case for a reverse proxy. With the reverse proxy, you have important resources like application servers, your email server, databases, NoSQL servers, all located on a secure private network. And you don't want anybody to have direct access to those machines. But at the same time, people on the internet need to gain access to your website. They need to check their email. So what you do is you set up a reverse proxy. You give it an IP address, maybe even a domain name, right? If you go to theserverside.com, you hit a reverse proxy first, which gives you access to stuff in the back end. So you set up a reverse proxy, you connect that reverse proxy to the public internet. Anybody that wants access to your back end resources has to call on that reverse proxy first. The reverse proxy then takes a look at the URL that's provided and then figures out which resource in the back end to invoke in order to fulfill that request. And then data is then sent back to the clients. But that reverse proxy becomes the only point of contact for clients on the internet in order to gain access to your backend resources. So there you go, that's the key difference between a forward proxy versus a reverse proxy. The forward proxy allows clients on a private network to access resources on the internet whereas a reverse proxy allows resources located on the public internet to gain access to resources located on your private network. Now there you go, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ. And why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?